an update to a story we brought you yesterday. Indiana police and school officials say they are investigating claims of bullying after a 10-year-old boy died by suicide last weekend. Sammy Toysh's family says the boy was repeatedly picked on in the weeks and months before his death. Now more families are speaking out against the school, sharing their experiences with News Nation. News Nation anchor Natasha Zuvez spoke to some of those families and has more. Yesterday, we we buried him, and I'm still waiting for him to run through the door. Father Sam Toysh says he and his family are in a waking nightmare. It was a normal Sunday. He was making eggs and pancakes for the kids. He says it happened so quickly. He found his son unresponsive in his bedroom. I took him from where he was. Um, he was still warm and you know had was not breathing um i started doing cpr i breathed into him i talked to him i kept thinking if you just hear my voice you're not gonna leave me his family telling News Nation the fourth grader had the most loving heart, the kind of little boy who used his birthday money to buy presents for his parents, the kind of little boy who spent his vacation to Florida picking up trash on the beach. He wanted to leave it more beautiful than he found it. At school, he was the target of bullies for his teeth and glasses. He was attacked on the school bus, his iPad stolen and used to hit him in the head. He returned home with his glasses broken, a bruised eye, and scratches on his face and neck. Just last week, he was attacked again, this time in the bathroom. The father telling News Nation the parents contacted school staff and teachers about the bullying more than 20 times. Now other parents are coming forward to News Nation, including the parents of Sammy's best friend, 10-year-old Josh, also a target. They've called him fat, Google, queso, ugly, the N-word. Josh's father says he's had to pick him up from school twice with head injuries. He's provided a list of bullies to the school. He says no changes. And his 10-year-old says he's thought about ending his life. To me as a parent, having to listen to my child say that he wants to kill himself because nobody's standing up for him. Somebody's always bullying him or causing problems with him. Um, that, that's, a, that's a problem for me as a parent. The parents are worried about another tragedy in their community, and Sammy's father telling us he is replaying what he said to his little boy as he held him over and over again. Listen to daddy, bum. You hear me, you're a fighter. Get up, come on. And I just kept thinking, if he just hears me, if he just hears me for a split second, if he opens his eyes and sees I'm standing here. He's coming back. And the superintendent responding to News Nation now saying in part that the staff has worked with the Toysh family for 18 months. They say that contact with the parents was frequent. Bullying claims are being investigated and they are cooperating with police. But Nicole, Sammy's father says he wants this message out to all parents that Sammy was a smiling, happy kid. The night before this happened, they made some s'mores together. The message from the father, talk to your kids, press for the details, have the hard conversations now. Nicole. Absolutely. So thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.